hi guys in this video we will learn how to upload multiple images using laravel live wire so let's get started with an example and let's understand so first of all let me go here and you can see that i already created one component that's called product create component and there is a one form let's call name and price okay once you submit it will create one record so you can see into the blade file over here simply name and price input and let me go here into the component component class you can see that submit method added validation over here and simply added product create code and simply it create one product into the database okay now what i will do in this form i will add one more options input that's called images where user upload multiple images and we will store into the folder and database okay so simply go here first of all i will go and i will simply copy this paste it over here and i will simply say images and i will say images and here i will take input so that's called file okay name i will remove and i will add another variable over here that's called images so i will say images and that will be your array okay simply save it okay and here i will say wire model and i will say images okay and it should be allow multiple okay and then i will say class that should be form control save it okay and here i will be add images dot star okay simply save it and that should be a message same thing here i will be add for validation so that's called images dot star okay and here i will simply say required for now and i will add the comma separate over here okay and the next we are using the image upload so what i need to do simply use with file uploads okay save it okay and let me use that trait over here simply use it save it okay and now let me go here and save it refresh it you can see that there is a images options and let me go here and now i should select multiple image okay yes yeah, something is wrong there so let me go here and what is the issue over here yeah, model is that multiple and it should be also file uh, let me remove this one save it okay now let me go refresh and let me try it again yeah you can see that two files over here okay now but you can see that i cannot see which files is there so what i need to do i also want to show you the preview of that images okay so how can i do so let me go here and first of all i will take another variable image previews i will say image preview save it okay and now what i will do simply when i choose so that means when this images will be update at that time should be stored into that array okay so what i will do simply go and i will say updated when images will be updated that means this model binding will update at the time it's come over here so let's see first it's coming or not so i will say info and here simply save it okay and let me make it clear go to the log save it okay and now let me go here refresh and let me try it again and i will choose two image open and now let me go here you can see that when i choose image it's coming over here okay so what i want to do over here so first of all i will say dollar this and preview image preview become empty and then what i will do simply for each loop of this images and i will get one by one image over here okay and i will get one by one preview of that image okay so simply copy this and i will create one okay one key and then i will simply say image get temporary url okay so that means we are getting the preview over here and add, adding one by one to the image preview variable simply go here and here what i will do copy this paste it over here and what i will do simply check if image preview is not empty
then it's come inside and if and that should be a for for each loop so i will say for each previews as a preview okay so simply i will simply say value sorry because we are storing the url directly over here so i will say value and that i will say and for each okay and here i will be add image okay and i will simply say value okay and here i will be add some style over here so i will say width will be 100 pixel height will be 100 pixel okay simply save it okay now let me go refresh it and i will choose again two emails so i will say one and two open yeah there is something problem so let me go here and what is the issue cancel it let me refresh and yeah let me try it again okay yes you can see that there is a two images over here okay now let me choose proper image so you can see the layout okay so let me go and i will simply say document solution and then i will say videos chats and one two three open you can see that but it's like still wired so let me go here and add like height should be 100 fine but the width should be 200 and i will add also like padding 5 pixels save it okay now refresh and let me choose again that three images and you can see that now it's perfect okay so you can see you can also like display the preview as well okay so now what i will do once you click on submit it should be stored into the database okay so i already created one more table that's called product image so i will copy this okay and use it over here model once our validation fine and everything will be okay then what i will do simply i will say for each and for this images okay as a image okay and one by one image i will go to over here so first of all what i will do i will simply use store method of the image object and then first argument will be simply you need to pass the folder name so i will say products and the second argument will be disk name so i will use the public disk name so it will go inside the app there is a public folder here it will be create products folder and then it's written the path okay then what we need to do simply go here and here i will be simply say product image product image colon colon create and then i will simply first i will take product id so how can i get so simply product id and once you created product i will say product inside the product variable simply i will say product id and then i here i will say path because uh, you can see that path filled so if i go here and then simply path store over here okay save it and at the end that should be a product created over here okay and it should be everything should be empty so i will copy this this name name will be empty same thing price should be empty same thing image should be empty so i will say empty array same thing preview also should be empty okay so i will say previews empty so once product will be created everything should be empty and remove this info as well save it okay and now let me go here refresh it and i will say test 20 price will be 100 i will choose two images one two open you can see that proper preview click on save you can see that product created over here and let me go to the folder you can see that inside the public folder storage app public products and you can see that both images over here you can see now let me go here and go to the database if i refresh there is already three products over here refresh you can see that 30 number product test 20 and let me go to another table that's called product images and you can see that 30 and there is a path already stored over here okay 
so you understand guys how easily we can upload multiple images with the preview so if you like this video then please subscribe to subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys